We need to be alive to the fact that as Kenyans, the constitution is not self-executing. We must be watchful as uh, citizens to ensure that our principals and the parliamentarians do not mutilate the legislations that Kenyans have earned for so much to have gender equality principles entrenched in. And we are also left with the fact that any amendment that is being done, either by parliament or any body, must embrace public participation. Now what parliament is doing now is to sneak that amendment so that we do not know to camouflage the new appointments which are about to be announced by parliament in terms of the inspector general and the two deputies. So FIDA Kenya calls upon members of parliament to ensure that they guard against these amendments. We are also calling upon the president, the prime minister, to withdraw the proposed names which they have uh, currently taken to parliament for approval to ensure that they lead by example. They swore to uphold the principles of the <coughs> constitution and they must, they must live by it. They must walk the talk. And we want our president to leave a legacy, a good legacy like the way he has left, a good legacy in the infrastructure sector. We also want him to leave the same legacy for us in terms of gender equality. And we are therefore asking the two principles to reject the two names until they're fully, compl uh, until they're fully compliant with the constitutional provision of 2010. They have a full duty and responsibility to uphold the constitution and which they owe to the people of Kenya, not only to the women of Kenya, but <coughs> the entire citizenry. Thank you.